Hi, this is Juanita. I'm getting ready to make some stuffed artichokes. So we'll start at the very beginning. First, you gotta have a bunch of artichokes. I've got four that I'm going to prepare. Gotta wash them. I want to show you the mud that's at the bottom of this pan where I washed all the artichokes to begin with. So there is dirt, they are produce, so make sure you rinse them off really, really well. Soak them in water. I'm gonna go through an abbreviated version here. And next, I want you to take a look at this artichoke. The tips, you wanna cut those little tips off. Sometimes they're real pokey, just like thorns from a rose. So you wanna snip them off so you don't accidentally poke yourself in the lip. I usually snip them off to within an inch or so. See, there's one right there. See that little needle? Yeah, you wanna make sure that's gone. Different varieties have different pokey things. Some of the varieties don't have anything at all. This one, it does, so make sure you clean it up really, really well. Scissors, they work the best. Okay, that looks pretty good. Alrighty, I'm going to take you over here to the other counter where I'm going to cut off the top. Right about there. I do better with a serrated knife. It's like a bread knife. stem. You don't have to cut way up here. I cut it right off at the base. Now come on over to the sink with me and I'll show you how to spread this and really rinse the heck out of it. Okay. So what you do is you pull the leaves out. Don't worry, you can't hurt them. And rinse them really, really good all the way to the very center of the artichoke. And since I'm going to put the stuffing between the leaves and also in the center, i make sure all this is spread open enough for me to do just that. See how that's spread open? A lot of the stuff is going to go in here. You don't need to cut anything out. Some people like to cut out the very center to put their stuffing in. You don't need to do that. And then the stuffing is also going to go between the leaves. So like I say, make sure you get every single leaf of rest with some nice clean water. All that sand and dirt out. Okay, gotta show you this beautiful lemon. This came from our tree in the backyard. I'm gonna scrub it up real quick too. Okay, let's go back over here to the other side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this little guy over here with these other little guys. Just spreading it a little bit more. I'm going to steam these for about 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes till they get nice and tender. I've already got the, the heat on and um, it's already starting to 
get a little bit hot in there. I'm gonna bring it to a simmer. I'm gonna cut this beautiful lemon, isn't that gorgeous? And I'm going to squeeze it over the artichokes. Okay, then I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna turn up the heat and I'm gonna wait for them to boil. Okay, now what we're gonna do is um, add some garlic and onions to the breading. Okay, I've got a little head of garlic here I've been using. Let me show you how I break this apart in a pretty easy fashion. I just take a little meat hammer And these are gorgeous heads of garlic. See how easy that comes apart. And then I take my little knife, cut off the little end, come back over here by my onions and garlic. I like to grate my garlic. as much as I can. Just don't get your fingers. Look at how beautiful that is. Just grate it down as far as you can. And then all I do is just clean up as much as I can. There's always garlic on the bottom part too. Okay. All right, I'm gonna throw this over here with my pan real quick. Okay, next. I'm gonna put a little more onions in here. That was about five cloves of garlic. We use some of this chopped up onions. I got it chopped up and some slices. Get a little extra flavor. I don't want that one. Olive oil. Extra virgin always. Just enough to kind of coat the bottom of the pan. I just heard, turned up the heat a little bit too. Start getting it cooking. Also, need a little bit of salt. You don't want to add too much because I'm also going to add uh, Parmesan cheese, which has a lot of salt in it as well. I just kind of warm this up, saute it for a minute or so. That smells so good when it releases all that wonderful garlic and onion smell together. Okay, over here, I have some fresh parsley and some basil. Basil I still need to cut up. And the easiest way to cut up parsley is to use a pair of scissors. It's much easier than a knife, trust me. Of course, with parsley as well, make sure you wash it, rinse it out really, really, really well so you get all the dirt off of it. The basil I'm going to put in towards more towards the end. Oh, let's see. What else do I have? Right here, I've got a little bit of chicken broth. 
I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna put in a little bit. Boy, that's not a very good aim there, huh? Must be the box's fault, not mine. I don't put a lot of olive oil in the breading just because I don't want that much oil in the food. I use a lot of broth, a little bit of wine, and use the olive oil as a finishing oil when the artichokes are done baking. Okay, still waiting on these guys. They're just starting to boil. Over here, I have about three cups of bread crumbs that are flavored with Italian spices, okay? So what I'm going to do is pour the bread crumbs in. This is gonna be our stuffing. And like I say, I'm more likely to use the broth. A lot of cooks that do this use all olive oil to make this more like a stuffing. And I'm more inclined to use broth, chicken broth instead. And you just keep mixing it up and adding the broth until it gets the consistency that you like. cooks enjoy using um, Romano or just Parmesan, but this has an awful lot of flavor. It has a different kind of flavor than what the other cheeses do. sharp provolone out of the refrigerator. I want to show you what it looks like so you don't get mixed up. A lot of cheese stores will say, oh, we have sharp provolone. And in fact, if it folds over like a slice of Swiss cheese, it's not sharp. This is the kind of provolone you need to get. If you can't find this, which oftentimes you can't, you can substitute Asagio for sharp provolone, okay? All right, this is still cooking away, cooking away, cooking away, blending together. Still a little bit drier than I like, so I'm gonna add a little more broth. Artichokes are coming right along here. They're bubbling away. I mean, this is what they look like. I 
I'm going to be stuffing these with this and then baking them in the oven until they're brown. That sharp provolone will give it a really, really nice taste. Okay, next, I am gonna go ahead and add some Parmesan. This is about a half a cup. So I'll use about half of it or so, and then the rest I'll um, sprinkle on the top. I'm still cooking in about medium-high heat. Mixing everything together. I like to taste my food as I cook, make sure I have enough um, salt and um, pepper. That's another thing I need to add. just pepper to taste. Looking about done. Don't you wish you could try that? <laughs> Kim doesn't want any. <laughs> mm. That's real good. And that's perfect. And last but not least, I'm going to add a little bit of... Um, fresh basil. Gotta save some parsley and basil for tomorrow's um, brocchioli, the stuffed steak. I think I'm going to do that tomorrow, tomorrow Sunday. I put it all in. Mix this up a little bit. And this is ready to go into the artichokes. Bake in the oven. Okay, we're going to get the artichokes out of the pan. I'm going to check them and we'll be right back. Bye. Hi, this is Juanita. I'm busy making stuffed artichokes the Italian style. So this is part two. I'm gonna stuff the artichokes that I've been cooking on top of the stove for about 20 minutes now. So they're ready to be stuffed. So let me give you a peek. There they are. Okay. What I'm gonna do is of course take them out. Whoops. I'm gonna see splash them everybody. I'm just gonna kind of drain them a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead, I'll put this one here. And I'll go ahead and put these others out too so they can cool a little bit before I tackle them. Yeah. I want to tell you I also um, took the stems, peeled them down, 
and I cook them along with the artichokes, okay? I'm gonna move this out of the way and bring in the stuffing that we made earlier, okay? So basically, I mean, of course they're hot. What else is new? I'm going to take the stuffing and pack it in the center to start. And then I'm going to also pack it into the leaves. You can let this cool down a little bit before you um, tackle these artichokes if you'd like. You want to get all the leaves to, you know, spread them open and then stuff them. Be generous. I'm probably a little too generous, but that's okay. It doesn't hurt. Only the part where you get burned. Okay, there we go. That's a good one. I also have a little broth and wine that I'm going to pour in the bottom and um, give it a little something to soak up from the bottom of the artichokes. It's flavorful. Okay. Okay, you can see the way I'm doing it. Okay. Just get a little bit. Spread open the leaves and stuff it in there. See how easy that is? Look at all those leaves there that need to be stuffed. Ooh. Try not to burn yourself too badly. No, it's not that bad, really. And really, the stuffing is the centerpiece for these artichokes. The stuffing is awesome. It's so flavorful and delicious with all the cheeses and everything. Isn't that nice? should break out in song now. Does anyone know a good Italian song? Okay, even these bottom leaves, take a little bit of stuffing and whop it in there. Just use any way that you feel comfortable with. You can use a spoon to stuff them. You can use the spatula like I'm doing here. Actually, spatula works pretty well. Of course, make sure your hands are clean. This is so good once it's baked to a nice brown color in the oven. Let's see, how pretty are we? We got some stuffing there, stuffing there. I'm gonna put a little bit of stuffing right in there. Oh yes, it's looking good. Everybody has different ways of doing their artichokes. For me, this is the way I like to have them fixed up. Of course, the more olive oil, the better. My grandma used to go between doing um, the bread stuffing and then also doing bread with Italian sausage stuffing. And either way, they're delicious. Okay, I've got another spot here I wanna fill. So what I did was I just kinda, I guess you could say parboiled them in the water until they're probably about three quarters cooked. And they kind of turn this different color of green and you know that 
it's time to go ahead and turn them off because you're going to finish baking these guys in the oven okay and you're going to bake them until they are nice and brown on top not horribly brown but just brown and yummy looking okay i've probably given enough stuffing to this one it's really super stuffed okay i'm going to finish this one with a little bit of olive oil or maybe a lot i like olive oil on my artichokes and stuffing Mmm. Yeah, this is the best of the best. Okay, and then this is the Sharpola. I'm going to add a little bit or a lot of the Sharpola. And then I'm going to add a little bit of Parmesan. This triple, um, dosing of the top of the artichokes is especially good. So you can really taste the olive oil and the cheeses. And be generous. There's always more where this came from. Okay. Now, last but not least, this is just some cheap cooking wise, some white wine Chardonnay. I'm going to pour a little bit in the bottom. Pour a lot. You want to have maybe about a half an inch or so in the bottom. And then I'm also going to add chicken broth again. Give it a little something to cook in. Okay, that looks pretty good. I love it. I just love it. I'm going to go ahead and do these off camera. Bake them in the oven. And then I'll pull them out and I'll show you um, the end result, okay? So bear with me. It'll be a part three and hopefully I can link everything together. Wish me luck. Bye. Hi, this is Juanita. I'm busy making stuffed artichokes the Italian style. So this is part two. I'm going to stuff the artichokes that I've been cooking on top of the stove for about 20 minutes now. So they're ready to be stuffed. So let me give you a peek. There they are. Okay. What I'm gonna do is, of course, take them out. Whoops. Brizzy splash them, everybody. I'm just gonna kind of drain them a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead, I'll put this one here, and I'll go ahead and put these others out too so they can cool a little bit before I tackle them. Yeah. I want to tell you, I also um, took the stems, peeled them down, and I cooked them along with the artichokes, okay? I'm going to move this out of the way and bring in the stuffing that we made earlier, okay? So basically, I mean, of course, they're hot. What else is new? I'm going to take the stuffing and pack it in the center to start. And then I'm going to also pack it into the leaves. You can let this cool down a little bit before you um, tackle these artichokes if you'd like. You want to get all the leaves to, you know, spread them open and then stuff them. Be generous. I'm probably a little too generous, but that's okay. It doesn't hurt. Only the part where you get burned. Okay, there we go. That's a good one. I also have a little broth and wine that I'm going to pour in the bottom and um, give it a little something to soak up from the bottom of the artichokes. It's flavorful. Okay. Okay, you can see the way I'm doing it. Okay.
Just get a little bit, spread open the leaves, and stuff it in there. See how easy that is? Look at all those leaves there that need to be stuffed. Ooh. Try not to burn yourself too badly. No, it's not that bad, really. And really, the stuffing is the centerpiece for these artichokes. The stuffing is awesome. It's so flavorful and delicious with all the cheeses and everything. Isn't that nice? I should break out in song now. Does anyone know a good Italian song? Okay, even these bottom leaves. Take a little bit of stuffing and whop it in there. Just use any way that you feel comfortable with. You can use a spoon to stuff them. You can use the spatula like I'm doing here. Actually, spatula works pretty well. Of course, make sure your hands are clean. This is so good once it's baked to a nice brown color in the oven. Let's see, how pretty are we? We got some stuffing there, stuffing there. I'm gonna put a little bit of stuffing right in there. Oh yes, it's looking good. Everybody has different ways of doing their artichokes. For me, this is the way I like to have them fixed up. Of course, the more olive oil, the better. My grandma used to go between doing um, the bread stuffing and then also doing bread with Italian sausage stuffing. And either way, they're delicious. Okay, I've got another spot here I want to fill. So what I did was I just kind of, I guess you could say parboiled them in the water until they're probably about three quarters cooked. And they kind of turn this different color of green and you know that it's time to go ahead and turn them off because you're going to finish baking these guys in the oven. Okay. And you're gonna bake them until they are nice and brown on top. Not horribly brown, but just brown and yummy looking. Okay, I've probably given enough stuffing to this one. It's really super stuffed. Okay, I'm going to finish this one with a little bit of olive oil or maybe a lot. I like olive oil on my artichokes and stuffing. Mmm, yeah, this is the best of the best. Okay, and then this is the Sharpola. I'm gonna add a little bit or a lot of the Sharpola. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of Parmesan. This triple, um, dosing of the top of the artichokes is especially good. So you can really taste the olive oil and the cheeses. And be generous. There's always more where this came from. Okay, now last but not least, this is just some cheap cooking wise, some white wine Chardonnay. I'm gonna pour a little bit in the bottom, or a lot. You want to have maybe about a half an inch or so in the bottom. And then I'm also going to add chicken broth again. Give it a little something to cook in. 
Okay, that looks pretty good. I love it. I just love it. I'm going to go ahead and do these off camera, bake them in the oven, and then I'll pull them out and I'll show you um, the end result, okay? So bear with me. It'll be a part three and hopefully I can link everything together. Wish me luck. Bye. Hi, this is Juanita again. This is part three of the artichoke making process. Just got them out of the oven. I want you to take a look down here. See how nice and brown these are? I'm gonna show you how to eat them too. Anyway, I've got a little spatula underneath this one. Pretty good sized. Real easy to eat. What you do is you pick a leaf, any leaf, pull it out, you see the way it's got the goodies down here at the bottom, and then you put it in your mouth. And those are teeth. And you scrape off that part of the artichoke. As you get closer to the center, they become more and more tender. Of course, you notice I've got these really, really stuffed. The stuffing is so good. Mm-hmm. 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 You see all that in there? Can you see the, the leaves and how well it's stuffed? All this is the melted cheese. Whoops. So there again, I take out this little leaf. They should come out real easily. Just take the end. And just scrape it off. As you get down farther, you're going to see a bunch of hairs that come up, kind of like in a point. You want to take those off, dispose of them, and right underneath the hair is a real tender piece of the artichoke. And you can eat all of that. I wish I could show you, but you got to eat it down in order to get to it. So one more time. Watch this. See, I'm getting a leaf. I'm going to pull it out. Yeah, rip it off, and one more time. This is a bigger one. See how nice that is. Mhm. Mm mm. See, very flavorful. You should really, really enjoy that part of the artichoke. The stuffing is good too. Really good. Normally, I don't stand in the kitchen and eat. I sit down at the table. But this is just easier right now. Mm, look at that. Stuffing brown on top. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. It's good. If you want to finish this off with a little more olive oil, you can. But for me, this is just perfect. Stuffing. Once you get started, you're not going to be able to quit. There's the inside of the. Uh huh, uh huh. Mm, you scrape it off with your teeth. That's hot. Oh, they just came out of the oven. That's what I expect, I guess. See, stuffing on the back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is really good. You just keep going until you've had enough. It's very, very good. I will see you next time for another Italian delicacy. Bye.